I can honestly say I don't think there's another piper that's piped with the variety of stuff that I've piped with. I've played with all sorts of bands, including Gong, Nick Turner, Hotwind, UK Subs, Sick Note, Warrior Soul, uh, Big Country, The Men They Couldn't Hang, Luciana Pavarotti, when I was in the Army. I've done all Edinburgh tattoos, all of that malarkey. So really these days I've tried to pay my bills and I've tried to get myself back up to a standard that's all right with me. I piped for, it would have been, I got a practice chat just before my ninth birthday and uh, we're, we're next door neighbour, I used to hear them. I used to hear him playing Gordon Walker, he's uh, now worried about the best pipers in the world really. I uh, started accordion when I was four, pipes when I was eight and nine. Used to compete a lot when I was young, Match of Spain, Real Peabrook, all of that. Joined the Army, 2nd Battalion, Scots Guards in 89. That was okay, you know, it was okay for a couple of years. Really, I was finding myself to be... You're very young then and you're realising that you're actually a bit alternative to all of that. And I have to say, for a piping career, really, the Army was possibly the worst thing I'd done. I realised pretty quick that we weren't getting on. And then a couple of months after leaving, I moved to Fast Lane Peace Camp, which is a bit of a, a, bit of a contrast, really. But uh, that, that was good, you know, that, that was springtime, 94. I got involved at the first actual kilt walk. Uh, it's 26 mile walks but, uh, from Glasgow, Hamden to Loch Lomond. Through a company called Real Wild Challenges, we're going to try to do overseas treks. Uh, I managed to keep it going. I've done China, the Great Wall of China, and then the next year I've done Kilimanjaro in Tanzania. That was amazing as well. And I piped at the actual Uhuru summit. And then the next year I'd done Peru, which was a 90 mile trek over the Salkinte Pass, which was about, I think I'm right in saying about 15,000 feet. I'm doing Everest Base Camp coming up in August. I'm just doing that myself. I'm not, it's not a charity thing. I sort of, I think after five years of fundraising for charity, you know, you've sort of, burnt your bridges for a little while in terms of fundraising, you know. That's what I, what I meant to be doing. I think you've to find what you're doing in life and if you can, what you're meant to be doing in life and if you can do that and see a bit of the world and pay the bills, that'll, that's all right by me, really. <laughs> If pipes could tell a story, this set of pipes, they've, they've played in palaces, castles, stages, gutters, pubs and clubs. A few trains, a couple of boats. I've never played in a plane, but I don't rule it out for future, you know. Right, folks, we need some, we need some air dancing here, really. Fine. Oh, fine. Oh, fine. Oh, fine. Uh, excellent, you know, 
As I say, it's exciting for me. It's better than playing with yourself, you know. Because you can, you can only play with yourself for so long. You know? <laughs> religion and politics, but if people were left to get together with music and enjoying each other's culture, you know, the world would be a better place.